Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Sonny, how many times did you lap Frank there? I'll let you say how many. I think it was three, to I, be I lost count, I was lapping yeah. everyone. But he's, he's a machine. I mean, look at his body shape compared to mine. It's not really fair, I mean, it? Is does it? look quite similar yeah. to me. <laughs> Just about a foot smaller. But you broke your record, though, didn't you, Frank? I did. 24 minutes, 30 seconds. I was like... I mean, a lot of the athletics clubs are going to be after me now. You know, the local athletics clubs. There were some, scout, there were some yeah, scouts in the stands, stands weren't there? And they said the way, the way his feet... Oh, never seen anything like it. Tony, did you actually come first or second in the end? No, first, first. To be fair, Reese was my SSC coach and he's one of my running partners, so he probably might have been able to do me because at the end, <clears throat> I was burping up a bit of that vodka Red Bull from holiday, but yeah. He, did, so. he didn't have... He, he doesn't, no. Yeah. No, I, I do. I, I had a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the where fight, were you, by the way? Well, I'd done a token lap to start off. I wasn't going to do anything. Why? He was ready for the, the night out yesterday, though. I seen he him. Was, I seen him in the hotel he's for about three hours. He does a lot of talking, doesn't he? There's a lot, a lot of things I was telling talking. you about last night. Name dropping and that. Yeah. Who do you know again? He knows everyone. Everyone. It's a long story. Long story. Come back to it. No, you can have the mic back. The most important man I know is Frank Smith. To be fair, so. I thought it was Sunny Edwards. Get your tongue out my ass, old Gary. <laughs> You're not a dog, are you, Gary? <laughs> right. The fight's been made. When, when is it happening, Frank? Uh, December, looks like no, late November, December. We're just finalising now as part of our whole schedule, but ready to go. Where do you want the fight to happen, Sonny? Anyway, I don't care. I mean, when I signed with Frank Smith and, and Eddie Hunt and Match from Boxing, um, we set out a clear path to make as little obstacles in making any of these big fights that I want, that uh, Match from want, um, and that hopefully the opponents want uh, harder to make. So we decided straight away, and that'll go anywhere and anywhere. Um, I'm leaving it up to the, the best promoters in boxing to decide where, you know, probably the biggest flyweight fight in history is going to be. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, this is an important fight for not only my career and my legacy, Baron Rodriguez and his legacy, but the division, I think. How easy is Sonny to work with to make these massive fights, Frank? Yeah, brilliant. He signed up to them on day one. That's what he came joined us for, was for the big fights. It wasn't just, you know, he wanted the big fights and he signed up to them on day one and there was no questions asked about anything. Is there a rematch clause? No, no rematch clause. Undisputed yeah, fight. Yeah. Well done. Last person there. Is it undisputed next if Sonny wins? Yeah, that's the plan. Well, you know, you've obviously got the two other champions. Made, you know, uh, Martinez has got a mandatory that he's got against Arroyo, I think it is. There's no date for that yet. But that's definitely the aim. That's what he wants. He's signed up to all those fights. He's signed up to the fights of the likes of Estrada as well. You know, he'd be up, up for those fights. So, you know, there's one thing about Sonny. He's not shying away from any challenge. What happens when you step in the ring with Bam? I think I beat him. I think a lot of people that know boxing know how it's going to go. Um, Bam Rodriguez looks fa fantastic, phenomenal, elite when he's got someone that's solid in front of him trying to walk him down. The moment he's got someone with a bit of you know movement and a bit of elusiveness and a bit more ring savvy and tact, he sort of falls to pieces in my opinion. I think he's been in uh, the ring with a couple of good back foot boxers, but I genuinely believe I'm probably the best foot the best back foot fighter in the world right now. I think my style leans that far so much that I don't think anyone can really compete across the weights, to be honest. Um, especially not Bam. I think he was going to struggle with me. I think mentally he's going to struggle to build up to the fight as well. I've been very uh, persistent and insistent on making sure there's you know press conferences, a nice good build up to the fight. I want to see Bam. I want to see him face to face. I want to spend some time in his company, do the, the, the gloves are off, everything like that. This, uh, for me, is my first real big event I'm going to be part of. Obviously, I've, I've had 20 fights and I've been in with some good fights against some very, very, very good fighters. Um, but it's always pretty much been the Sonny Edwards show, you know, Edwards verse, and no one really knew too much about my opponent. Um, you know, Bam Rodriguez has got a bigger profile than me, probably around, probably around the same. Um, he's been promoted very well. He had a breakout year that sort of put him up there with, you know, the conversations of the power of pound, especially the power of pound prospects, the fighters next coming through. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to being part of this event, um, Rodriguez Edwards. I think it is genuinely a fight that will be remembered. I feel like um, the, the outcome will be weighted on, the result will be talked about, and the action in the ring will go down as you know one of the best fights that there's been technically uh, for a while. 
think the other the good thing is well we've got time to promote it properly this fight this is a fight that needs real promotion and build up and you know like Sonny says he's going to go in there we all know what Sonny does and you know I think he's going to be the first fight Jesse has as well where he's got someone really talking back to him like that and it's an important fight for the for not just the division but for boxing so to have that time to really you know that four or five months to really build it up is, is going to be great because sometimes you rush with these fights but this is going to be built into a real event and we're excited for it last one who starts favor in your opinion frank i'm not i'm not getting involved with it. look it's hard for us when we promote both fighters. Our job is to promote the fighters. All we can do is put the best in against the best. You know, they both want this opportunity. And when they get in the ring, it doesn't matter what we do. It's about the two of them. Let me answer for you. I think, me personally, no bias, I think Bam should start as the at least slight favourite, probably the heavy favourite. I think he's been in fighters that were promoted to a level far higher than... Um, some of the fights that I've been into and I know that stands a lot in boxing I'm surprised how you know just a slight underdog I am but at the same time I have won 20 fights very 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 comfortably very convincingly so I said that it to him last night Bam's a favourite but I was scared if I said it now he might lay me out so you know no nah, Bam is ba Bam, Bam's phenomenal and I feel like you know a 27 year old I'm 27 now a 27 year old Bam will be even better and a 30 year old Bam will be even even better and I feel like me and uh, Bam will probably end up fight facing each other multiple times in our career, not, you know, no tied in the rematch clauses. I was, uh, it was refreshing that it weren't something I was insisting on, rematch clauses, but it would have been if, you know, their side really wanted it, then I would have had to do it as well, you know, more out of stubbornness and pettiness, but one and done works perfect for me. I don't give, I don't mind giving up home advantage um, because that's immaterial to me. And if, if, and if after in the future, regardless, win, loss, or draw, I, I genuinely believe I'm going to win, but regardless, Bam will probably be the biggest fight for me again at some point. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this being probably the part of maybe like a, a legacy, a trilogy of fights. I feel like he's a very good fighter. I feel like he comes from a good fighting family. He's got uh, good people who know boxing looking after him. So, yeah, he's probably the closest thing I can see to like a, a, an American version of me. I mean, look, we've both got an older brother that had, you know, the world level success that little bit first probably slightly not as good um, as the younger brother. So I feel like, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of similarities. We've both been career athletes. We've both dedicated our whole life and we'll both take the fights and opportunities where other people won't. Listen, hopefully we get this fight <laughs> announced we'll soon. Fight. Announced soon. It's announced. Right? It's announced. We've just got the details to come out as part of our whole schedule, but we're doing it. It's done and uh, can't wait for it. Big press tour? Yeah, 100%. You know, gloves are off. Press conference in England, press conference in America. Might do one in Mexico because he fancies a little trip to Cancun. Budget yeah. for my stylist, yeah. you know what I mean? You need that. Louis V yeah. bag, yeah, yeah, couple yeah, of yeah, Goyard yeah. travel packs. There's no money left. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> Sonny, thank you very, very much for being to IFL TV. Tune in tonight, Zone. Don't miss it. Live on the Zone, Dalton Smith's back. Pat McCormack in his first title fight. Janae Boston, the superstar's there. Beatrice Ferreira's there. I forgot something as well. Hopi Price is back out. Stack card, top to bottom. Don't miss it. Yes, boys. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Kukin Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up.